Today I want to talk to you about monkeypox. I am going to ask a series of questions and provide the answers. Let's begin. What is monkeypox? Monkeypox is a viral disease that is caused by the monkeypox virus. Where did the virus get its name? In 1958, there were two outbreaks of pox-like disease in colonies of monkeys that were kept for research. So because these bumps or pox came out on the monkeys, it was given the name monkeypox. When was the first human case of monkeypox reported? The first case was documented in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since then, several cases have been documented in Central and West Africa. How is monkeypox transmitted? It is spread from person to person through respiratory droplets. It is spread from face-to-face -face contact. It is spread from exposure to an infected person's body fluid. It is spread from exposure to contaminated objects or surfaces. It is spread from eating infected animals, which can result in abrasions in the mouth. And it can be spread from being in contact with an infected animal or being bitten by an infected animal. The incubation period. This is a time when the virus has gained entry into the body and has begun to replicate. It can be anywhere from five to 21 days. The clinical manifestation. Now that the virus has gained access into the person's body, namely into the cells and into the blood, signs and symptoms will now be become obvious. The symptoms usually start within five days of exposure. What do these include? Number one, skin lesions. This could be a rash, a vesicle, a pustule, an umbilicated pustule, an ulcerated lesion, a crusting lesion, or a partially removed scab. Not all patients will develop a rash. However, the rash or the lesions usually start on the face, then spread to the trunk, extremities, palms, and the sole. Number two, patients may have fever, chills, and headache. Number three, some patients may have muscle aches, back ache, and fatigue, and the muscle ache is very significant. There may be swollen lymph nodes, so make sure you check for it. Please note that lymphadenopathy is usually present before the rash, and this helps to distinguish monkeypox from smallpox and the chickenpox, which is varicella. Clinical determination. How do we determine if a person has monkeypox? Well, number one, look for a rash or skin lesion. This could be macules, which means it's flat, papules, which means it's raised, vesicles, which mean it's filled with clear fluid, pustules, which mean it's round and firm with opaque fluid and umbilicated in the center. The skin lesions could be generalized, localized, discrete, or confluent. The second thing is to look for fever. Temperature of 99.3 degrees Fahrenheit or 37.4 Celsius may be considered. Check for other signs and symptoms such as chills, sweat, headache, backache, lymphadenopathy, sore throat, cough, runny nose, and malaise. Questions to ask. Has the person been exposed to anyone with confirmed the case of monkeypox? And lastly, has the person traveled to a country that has reported suspected or confirmed the cases in the last 30 days? Prevention. If there is clinical evidence that the patient might be positive for monkeypox, then put the patient in an airborne infection isolation room and close the door. If you have to go into the room, put on your gown, a 95 face shield and gloves. If there is no need for admission, 
the patient may be discharged with instructions to isolate until symptoms subside. Provide follow-up contact information to the patient. The diagnostic test. The preferred test is the PCR detection of viral DNA. The specimen should be collected directly from the skin lesions. The treatment. Currently, there is no specific licensed treatment for monkeypox in the United States. However, there is a vaccine licensed for the prevention. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, there is no licensed treatment in the United States, but there is vaccine prevention. The preferred vaccine to protect against monkeypox is Genius, J-Y-N-N-E-O-S which is a two-dose vaccine. It takes 14 days after getting the second dose of Genius for its immune protection to reach its maximum. The ACAM 2000, that's A-C-A-M 2000 vaccine may be an alternative to Genius. ACAM 2000 is a single-dose vaccine and it takes four weeks after vaccination for its immune protection to reach its maximum. However, it has the potential for more side effects and adverse events than genius. It is not recommended for people with severely weakened immune systems and several other conditions. Conclusion Here is a logical conclusion I want you to think about if you think someone may have monkeypox. Number one, has the person been exposed to someone with confirmed the monkeypox? Number two, has the person traveled to a country known to have monkeypox? Number three, does the person present with a fever? Number four, does the person have flu-like symptoms, particularly muscle ache or muscle cramps? And this normally is generalized. Number five, does the person have skin lesions? Number six, if indeed the person has monkeypox, it is self-limited and would spontaneously resolve in 14 to 21 days. And lastly, please note, once the rash scabs and the scab falls off, the infectious period has ended. Well, thanks for watching. The fruit of dedication is accomplishment. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I wish you well. Good night.